What's good, YouTube? They know so in another video, bro. It's been a minute, bro. It's been a, it's been a fucking minute, my nigga. I ain't been, I ain't posting in probably like 10 days. Um, like, nigga got a job. He started working, you know. Also, like, nigga just been spending time. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, my spring break is ending, like, this week. I was on spring break all week. So, I ain't gonna lie. I've been, you know, hanging out with friends, enjoying my time off, just taking a break from all this shit, just chilling. Working out, get my body right, and all that shit. So, I ain't been playing the game, but I'm going to keep it a bean, bro. Follow my TikTok, bro. My TikTok is the same thing as my, same thing as my YouTube. I've been I've been talking to, like, TikTok guards, and I've been, I was trying to find a new guard because my last guard bill, I'm not going to lie, it was, like, horrible. It was, like, no cap. Like, it was, like, it I, it was damn near burly, so it kept on getting bumped. It wasn't, I ain't had the acceleration I wanted to have, and I only had 80 driving on, so I couldn't really dunk. So, whenever I drive to the rim and a big swings, I would get bumped out of every quick drop. Like, I've never seen somebody get bumped out of quick drops more than me. I've never actually seen it happen but to me. So, I was like, yeah, I gotta tuck this shit, bro. I, I made a whole dribble tutorial on that build and everything, but like, like even making a dribble tutorial, I was getting frustrated because I didn't like it. Like I couldn't shoot on it for some odd reason. Like I don't know. So talked to them, and they gave me, uh, they showed me their bills, and this is this is the bill that I came up with from all that, bro. So um, shout out to um, Top Talking, and um, I can't think of the other nigga name, but Top Talking helped me out a lot with my build. So six three, seventy, weight one seventy on. I'm, I'm tripping. Six eleven on the wingspan compact. I made the mistake last time going to find. Never again. Compact. So as y'all see, first thing first. Ninety two driving dunk. Like I'm, I'm not playing no games. Ninety two driving dunk. Seventy seven layup gets me silver finish. Uh, silver fearless, and it gets me um, acrobat on silver. I was thinking about going 78 to get pro, um, in Hall of Fame pro touch and just time my layups, but I ain't trying to be weird, bro. <laughs> but nah, bro. 92, driving dunk, OP. I got it on my 6.9 bit, my first build that I've ever had that have a driving dunk on it. I swear to God, it's so OP. Like, that ass, once I get to the free throw line, if you don't get bumped by the time you get to the free throw line, it's an automatic dunk. Like, no matter if a big with 99 dunk is like trying to block it doesn't matter always going in and if they bump me out of animation i got silver fillers finisher so i'm gonna always be a layup 67 close shot i'm gonna keep it in you don't really need the close shot or the standing dunk on this build i just prefer i prefer all my builds to have standing dunk that's just me um so if you don't want standing if you don't like standing dunk you can take your standing dunk off um you damn it can take the close shot down too um and you'll still have 17 or if you don't want if you don't care about either one of them, you can take really both of them off and just put your know, part of your plus four and finish it like that ass. But this is how I rock mine. 89 three ball. I'm keeping it being like I've played with 92 three ball. I played with 97 three ball on guard, on little guards. 89 is, is enough. Like it's like enough to get by. 85 is not enough. I swear to God, 85 is not enough. Like, when you're playing against ass folks, or if you just play straight park, 85 might be enough. When you playing, like, like stage, which I'm going to do on, my, on this build, stage, or you play against, like, like squats in the rig, where you got a full five, and they playing their fucking life off in that bitch, 85 three ball not going to cut it, bro. You're going to need at least 89. 89 gets me gold, uh, H and 3. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to go up in the badges. Y'all know these badges, bro. Y'all know, know the thresholds. But if I was playing competitive pro am or competitive shit, I would go 92. You can make this build with 92 three ball. I didn't, but you can. Ball handle. 94 ball handle. The reason why I went 94, I've always been a I've always went 94 or 92. But like 92 and 94, I don't know, maybe it's a threshold, but you dribble faster with 94 than you do with 92. Also, it is a threshold because um, I put this: you dribble a lot different with 89 ball handle than you do with 92. No, no, no. 
You dribble different with 89. A lot of guards have 89. They just want the Hall of, they just want the Hall of Fame clear first step. You dribble way faster with 94 than 89 when it comes to just combo and shit. Now, you can left right the same way. Acceleration is um, what's carrying that when it comes to left right. But like when it's like standstill combos, like 94, you dribble way faster than, to me than 92. So I went 94. They said go 96. I just didn't think I need 96, bro. 96 seemed kind of overkill. Um, 76 be with ball. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, unless you just really need playmaking badges, you don't need over a 75 for any build. Like for any build, you don't need over a 75. But hey, people like people like to go higher. 76 and 75 pass accuracy. Defense. Now, dumb niggas was like going no defense. I I don't give a fuck what build I'm on. I gotta have at least steel and perimeter defense. At least 85 steel and at least 70 perimeter. I got to. Some must like otherwise you just too much of a liability out in that bit. Like if a team go five out, you just you're fucked. Or if I'm in a stage like backdoor cut me, I'm fucked. So 85 steel, 78 perimeter. It allows me if I'm playing like competitive or I'm playing like I'm not really pro but like if I'm playing like two three with my friends and shit I can guard up top and not be a liability like because I don't like sending the corner I don't like sitting corner for nobody I don't give a fuck if I'm playing point guard with no defense I don't want to sit corner so this allows me at least play the top and I can stay running the break like I like because I, I love to run the break so <clears throat> it allows me to be able to do that 67 block 58 interior I was debating on whether or not to put this on here, but like me personally, I fucking hate getting rim ran on. And I be rim running. I hate getting rim ran on. And I'm gonna keep it being if they dump meter, you're fucked. Like there's there's nothing this 58 and this 67 gonna do. But um if they just like brain dead to try to paint mash you, where you can get a contest if you play straight up, especially if you jump. But straight hands up, um, if you make contact, they're probably going to miss unless they contact dunk you. So if they got skill in contact dunk you, you're fucked. But for the brain dead motherfuckers, this is enough. You're going to get a stop. You're not going to get the rebound, but you will get the stop. So 6-7 block, 58, in 58 interior, and you get silver chase down. So um, if you got team takeover, you might fuck around and get a nasty ass chase down block. You feel me? Um, speed, 76. Um... I mean, speed is I. I mean, I really don't care about speed for real, for real. Um, I wish it was kind of like at like 80. If I would change anything, I might bring my acceleration like this and go like that. But um, I'm cool with the acceleration that I got on my build, which is 90. My fucking 6'4", I had 84 acceleration. So I got. I don't. I don't want to go. I don't want to even see 80 anything acceleration. But 82 vert because you need all the contact dunks. Now, you don't get the small elites. I think they're kind of ass to be honest. I think the elite contact dunks for all of them are way better. In general, off one and off two, the small ones are kind of mid. You do get a little bit better. Like, like the dunks are not better, but like after you done like the animation, like how to play, how to like defender falls and shit is way better. But like, that's not, like, I don't, I don't want to sacrifice nothing on my build. And then 92 stamina. Takeovers. Easy blow bots. You got 92 driving dunk. You I'm 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 gonna goddamn use it. Easy blow buys. Um opens your green uh your your dunk meter window, your green window, opens it up to damn near you can never miss if you dunk meter and take over. And I got 92 driving dunk, like I'm gonna say it again. That's the point of the build. 92 driving dunk. I'm gonna be killing motherfuckers. And then limitless range, it really like uh, I mean, you, you are playing point guard, um, so you, you want to have a three-point takeover. I guess you could maybe go pull up precision, but, like, why the fuck would you be on a point guard and don't have any shooting takeover? Like, you, what's the point? You might as well just make a fucking... <laughs> might as well just make a build with no shooting if you land a shooting takeover. But, um... I don't know how world be free plays like this. Alonzo Ball, I don't know. Maybe Tyrese Halliburton, but he ain't that. He don't drive for real. This is a John Morant build. Inside out shot, I'm going to show you how I'm going to rock my badges. 
Um, finishing wise, I'm a rock. Five tweets like that. Giant Slayer, Air Wizard. I'm gonna probably core limit the takeoff and then rock slithery. If I'm being honest with you, no reason to rock poster rider because once again, guess what you got? 92 driving though. Don't need it. Um, plus, like area wizard, I'd rather have area wizard just because um, I can get put back and I can catch I can catch way better lob. I need way back way better contact lobs. So that's all that's for. Shoom wise, I put an extra shoom badge. And shooting, I put two on playmaking, one on rebounding. So, this is probably how I'm gonna rob my shoe badges. Um, uh, like this, I have an extra one to put here and now make gold blinders. Playmaking, uh, Cordis, then have uh, clamp breakers, and I'm gonna have killer combos on silver. That's why I put two here, and then defense. 21, 21 it seems like enough, but like I'm gonna keep it a being like you kind of need all these like silver menace, silver chase down, core interceptor, glove, and then you got one more to have challenger just because you're short as fuck. You kind of like, like let's say you're playing against a 6 9 and they got dead eye or like blind, like especially dead eye. Like if we don't have no challenger, he would shoot right over your ass like dude Dennis. So like challenger will at least give you that like. 7% not make a miss so that's why I say rock challenger and yeah this is the build bro I'm, gr I'm currently grinding this shit out right now like I took time like I was playing my career I was like let me go ahead and make this video bro so this is my new guard build I really haven't played on a small guard all year I probably played like five total games on a small guard and I finished it out like a lot of times I play on my guard like I don't even finish the game because I'd be frustrated I just get on my 6 9 to torture motherfuckers. So, yeah, bro, like, I'm at a, what am I at, 88 right now? So, um, that ass made this shit yesterday. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> that ass made this shit yesterday. So, I'm gonna grind this shit up and give y'all some gameplay soon, bro. So, y'all boys, stay tuned. I got y'all, bro. See y'all in the next video. Five likes to go. See y'all in the next video. Peace.